Hi, I am Nathan R. Martinez reporting for BDS Weather News. Today, we will look back at the most harsh moment of November 2013. For today's headline, what is a typhoon? What is the deadliest typhoon to hit the Philippines? And what are the effects of winds to structures and vegetation? Strong winds, heavy rains, floods, storm surges. These are just some of the hazards that are brought by tropical cyclones. The formation of tropical cyclones is a natural phenomenon. It is used by the Earth to attain balance or equilibrium, transferring energy from the equator to colder parts of the Earth. They are called by various names. In the Northwest Pacific, we call it typhoons. In the Indian Ocean and the Southwest Pacific, they are called cyclones. And in the Atlantic, they are called hurricanes. They are often found to form within the Intertropical Convergence Zone, or ITCZ, where the Northeast and the Southeast trade winds meet. Typhoons form just like how ordinary rain clouds form. They start from how evaporation of water molecules from the ocean because this moist air is warm and they travel upwards until they meet with cold air. At this point, they start to condense and form clouds resulting in rain showers. The clouds dissipate and vanish after precipitation is complete. With a very active system, clouds can move together into large clusters of thunderstorms. These clusters of clouds are areas of low pressure in the atmosphere. When combined with warm ocean waters, typically over 26 degrees Celsius, they join by two of the key ingredients in transforming ordinary clouds into deadly typhoons. Converging winds also, the movement of warm moist air from the ocean upwards and contribute to the circulation of typhoons. With an organized circulation, the low pressure area becomes a tropical depression. As tropical depression drifts, it may encounter areas of the ocean where it's exceptionally warm. This will further drive the increase of its circulation, transforming it into a typhoon and when conditions are ideal, the system starts to rotate even faster and now on a clear center the eye of the typhoon. Typhoons are common in the eastern Pacific but this one was quite literally off the scale. It had winds in excess of 300 km per hour before it hit the Philippines. That's faster than a speeding racing car, and in the face of that very little we humans can build will be left standing. When people use the phrase off the charts, they're usually exaggerating, but not this time. Typhoons and hurricanes are categorized on the scale of 1 to 5. Haiyan could be a new number. If they had a category 6 scale in the Atlantic Ocean, it could very well have been right at that threshold if they set one. A storm qualifies as a typhoon if it has sustained winds of 119 km per hour. At that point, it's damaging roofs and breaking branches. As it moves up, things get worse quickly. By storm signal number 3, trees are snapping and uprooting. By, by storm signal number 4, buildings start losing roofs and walls. Storm signal number 5 is catastrophic. Areas can be left uninhabitable for weeks or longer. In the central Philippines, Yolanda's fury landed 600 kilometers wide hours earlier, dragging surging waves onshore. 48 hours in the storm signal number 5, two-story building storm surge. About 80% of houses and structures and everything in its path were destroyed. The roof demolished and ripped off. The breeze flooded. Airport flattened. Cars tangled in down power lines. And Road struck with debris, hundreds and thousands of families homeless making their way through what's left. So many look for their food for their children. At least 4 million people were affected, and of course that horrific death toll of 10,000, leaving death and desperation everywhere. That, that's what the Philippines have gone through. To qualify for a storm signal number 5, winds have to be 252 km per hour or higher. Yolanda was more than 50 above that, more than 300 km per hour. Experts of the University of Western Ontario study winds and its effects on buildings. They say, basically other than nuclear reactors, nothing is built to stand up to a storm like Haiyan. The Philippines suffered, any country would be. One thing that does make the Philippines a particularly bad target is elevation. It's low. 
The six meter storm surge ripped through communities along shorelines. In fact, unlike most storms, Yolanda was actually gaining power as it made the landfall. That's why it's called the strongest, devastating, horrifying, deadliest typhoon in the history to hit the Philippines. It was a tragedy beyond anybody's imagination. What are the effects of winds to structures and vegetation? Storm signal number one means, in your area, you will have a sustained winds of up to 30 to 60 km per hour within the next 36 hours. Damage to structures. Houses and other structures made of light materials may be partially unmoved by strong winds. As for damage to vegetation, twigs and branches of small trees may break. Storm signal number 2 means, in your area, you will have a sustained winds of up to 61 to 120 km per hour within the next 24 hours. Damage to structures. Houses and other structures made of light materials may be partially unroofed by strong winds. Galvanized iron roofing may be stripped. As for damage to vegetation, a number of trees may break or be uprooted by strong winds. In the open sea, storm surges may occur. Storm signal number 3 means, in your area, you will have a sustained winds of up to 121 to 170 km per hour within the next 18 hours. Damage to structures. Houses and other structures made of light materials may be unroofed or destroyed by strong winds. A considerable amount of damage may be seen in structures of light and medium construction. Billboards and glass panels of buildings may be destroyed. A widespread disruption of electric power distribution and communication services may take place. As for damage to vegetation, many tall trees and crops may be destroyed or uprooted. In the open sea, huge storm surges may occur. Storm signal number 4 means, in your area, you will have a sustained winds of what? of up to 171 to 220 km per hour within the next 12 hours. Damage to structures. Houses and other establishments may be severely damaged. Electric power distribution, communication, and water supply may be severely damaged. As for damage to vegetation, most trees and crops suffer extreme damage. Storm signal number 5 means, in your area, you will have a sustained winds of greater than 220 km per hour within the next 12 hours. Damage to structures. All structures of light materials may be almost totally damaged. Most houses and other establishments may be severely damaged. Roofs may be completely stripped. Windows may be broken and doors may be destroyed. Electric power distribution, communication, and water supply may be severely disrupted. All signboards may be blown down. As for damage to vegetation, few trees and crops survive. And that's the end of our news report. Nathan Martinez reporting for BDS Weather News.